What's going on dudes and dudes? Welcome back to All The Mod 7. Guys, we are on our base. We're chilling. We're having a good time. We have stuff and things to do. Not over there, but over here. And over here, we're going to be putting our mob farm today. That big circular area I was telling you guys about last episode. If you guys didn't check out last episode, I highly recommend you do it. We got some amazing seeds to give us all the resources that we need. But we're going to need a lot of calcite bricks. So I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of these. We've only got a few. And then I have a whole bunch down in the base. Uh, the old base, actually. And so if we, if we need any more, we can go over there and get it all figured out but this is not the right table the right table is right here and i'm gonna cut all of these calcite bricks and it's gonna be a fun time okay so this is gonna be the size of the circle that we're gonna need to put the spawner in the middle uh, now we do technically lose some spawning spaces here in the the corners uh, but as you can see, one, two, three, four, it's not going to really matter all that much, especially if we start putting the upgrades on the spawners. Uh, so I'm not too worried about the, the four spawning corners that we're going to lose some spawns to, basically. Uh, but this is technically a 13 by 13 um, circle here. If we pull up the circle generator, or the pixel circle generator, I want to go ahead and have a few... I have an outer circle around this. We're going to bump this up a bit. Uh, I'm thinking probably 21 is going to be the magic number for us. Uh, maybe 23. Yeah, maybe it looks it looks a little bit more circular. But then see, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is where that edge is. So here would be the circle. Uh, so yeah, we have quite a bit of room to walk around with a 23 wide circle. So we'd go one, two, so middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and on the eleventh one is when we would start that. Um, yeah, and then in the corner here, this is where our staircase is going to come into because we're actually going to do a staircase out of where the um, right out of there. You can actually barely see it; it's on camera. Uh, but yeah, see where that point is? We're going to have stairs coming down diagonally, and then it's going to go into the circular room and then go up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start building that. We're getting a lot of frame jumping here for some reason. I think we're loading up the base. But anyway, I'm going to start that. I want to show you guys what we're doing. So we're doing a 13. So we're starting with a, a 23 block circle, and then we're going into a 13. So yeah, that will be that will be fun. All right, so here's our platform. This is going to be cool. So I do plan on using glass for the outside of this and then four out here. I know this is the actual perimeter of the one, but I'm actually going to come out here and just put um, these deep slate tiles uh, for a trim. I think it's going to really make it look good. And it's, I'm so excited because now all of our uh, mob farms are going to be really close which means that we're going to be getting XP while we're here and AFK because I I do AFK a lot. I'm not going to lie, guys. <clears throat> I am an AFKer. Oh, no. What are you going to think? Oh, no. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're just putting this trim, and I'll show you why. Because it still looks spherical. Spherical. Um, and then for here, we'll just put those. But, yeah, it kind of really just highlights that. Oh. This is going to be so cool. And um, we're going to have to make the kill chamber down below, which is another reason why we built this here. Um, now, I say kill chamber. I really mean kill chamber. Um, <laughs> just kidding. We're going to drop them down into a 3x3, three three, and this is where our mob grinder, mob masher from over there is going to be. So, I don't know. We're going to have Wither Skeletons and Endermen in here. So, I do think we need to go down just a little bit. Um, and you will be able to see this room from the outside. Okay. Yeah, I think that's tall enough. I'm going to create another little platform down here uh, that I can stand on. 
and I'm just going to bring this out a couple blocks. I'm going to probably do a perimeter and then just use the builder's wand to do it. Yeah. Okay, so now that this is in, we're going to go ahead and put the conveyor belts. Um, so essentially, I actually believe we can just vein mine this. Yes. Perfect. Oh, that's not the right way. We're going to do this first. Yep, we're going to make it symmetrical. I'm being way too technical about this, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Oh, well. Just have to make do. These are soup. These conveyors are super duper cheap for us to make because we have all of the, the stuff here automated uh, to make these. So yeah, these are not expensive for us at all. They're actually rather cheap. We don't have any slimes though. Uh, yeah, they're a bit. They're a bit pricey. Perfect. Okay, those are now in, and then we are going to. Do this and right here in the middle will be the mob killer yeah and so now we need some cool glass but yeah this is how it's looking we're gonna have big kind of beams probably going up here and then maybe here as well uh, we'll get the not there get the builder out for that oh <laughs> That was interesting. Did you see that thing zoom? Jeez. And I do have a fair lamp down there, but we're going to make it so that the spawners aren't affected by light. So we don't have to worry about that, which means we probably don't need the tinted glass. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Okay. So I need to go... Yeah, this is going to suck. We'll break. That actually didn't suck. Okay, so we got everything there. We have the two blaze spawners. Fantastic. Uh, we're probably going to have to bring these over and incorporate all of my 49,000 blaze rods into the thing. Yeah, but we won't even we won't even have this. We're just gonna have these go right into our system, and now we don't need that one anymore. Let me know what you guys think. I want to put I want to signify like a like color coordinate each of these, but I don't know how. So I'm trying diamond blocks. Maybe I try gold, emerald, iron stuff like that. Let me know what you guys think. If I should do something different, or if I should just do colors, or maybe designs. Like we could we may be able to do a cool design there. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If, like, just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. So, what we're going to do here is uh, this actual block will be the vacuum. We will need to have some redstone and rain. Always got to have the rain. You know, they bless those rains down in Africa. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Okay. All right, so that is on. And with the feral lamp, we might, we're just going to move it a little bit because we're going to go right into an item, um, an ender chest. Ooh, I bet that's dark. I'm going to put one here, put one here, here, and here, because I like redundancy. Okay. So now we can work on the chamber. And I think we're going to do clear glass. 
Um, so yeah, we can get rid of this stuff. We're gonna... Are we going to get rid of it? Um, we may actually need to lower it one more than I think about it. So I'm looking for ender chests here. Yes, this guy. This is what we want. Ender pouch. And then the white wool. We got the string. We don't have the white wool. Okay. So that is super duper easy peasy. Just go like this. There we go. Now it's private to me. Okay. So yeah, we do need to lower the vacuum hopper. Where did it go, Cotton Eye Joe? We do need to lower the vacuum hopper by... Oh, the game crashed. Okay, I think we're okay. I did get booted, and I did go ahead and restart the server as well. So we should be okay for now. Um, but yes, we're going to... I'm just going to put this here. I want to see if it can go through a block. Because I want to have it set up like this. So that... Um, yep, and then so north is a fluid, yes. So this grabs that. I don't know if it'll work. It might. Um, yeah, we're going to go, we're going to offset the Y kind of a bit, if we can. Yeah, so it's going to grab all of those items. So that should work out really good for us, actually. Okay, so now all we got, ooh, get a little bit of weird mouse movement. We're gonna go ahead and put on all the glass. Put in all the glass. So I do have quite a bit of glass here, uh, and we can turn it into better glass. So we're gonna do that. Get these out of here. Um. All right, and then this is clear glass. So it basically connects and it's clear. It looks really good. So we're gonna be using this to see in there. Okay, that should be good for now. I'm also gonna go ahead and put a little, some blocks here so I don't kill myself accidentally. Okay. Once we put the upgrades in here, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna risk it. We have we have a lot of levels. If this video gets 200 likes, I will walk into it with my unobtainium armor, and we will see what happens. 200 likes on this video. Can you do it? I I, I think you guys can. But you gotta be, you gotta be unified. Okay. Yeah, we'll call that good. So let's see, what wine level did we end on? 196. Yeah, so that's a decent amount. Re really, I didn't even place it there. Shoo! Okay. All right, so we're way up here. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. Um, so then I'm going to bring this all the way up. I could really just use the builder's wand for this, but I'm not going to. So I like to suffer. Okay. So yeah, now we're just going to knock out after, let's see. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And this will be where the first spawner is down here. And then we'll go every other. Okay. And that will prevent anything from getting stuck. Uh, at the bottom here, all of the Endermen, Wither Skeletons, they will all fall down, which is good. Oh, my goodness. We are getting close. Um, I think it's time we seal the top and get on our way. But I'm going to seal the top with something 
Ooh, I have the building gadget here. Perfect. We can go ahead and do this real quick. Oh, that's great. Let's also grab some calcite bricks. Going to need some of those. Perfect. Oop, that's a little, little too tall. That is okay. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do this real quick. Build these up, and then we'll be right back. Okay, there's our beam. Look at that. It's looking pretty crazy. I am really liking the way it's looking. Um, so I think it's time that we break this. Okay, so those items are getting collected and put back into our ME system. So you can see as soon as it went down, it got collected, which means that the only thing we need to do is a filler up. So I'm going to put, we're going to test this out, blaze, blaze. Okay. Now if I go over here, yeah, they're still spawning in. Look, I'm really far away now. I'm over a chunk away. I don't think we can see the animations. But if I go over here, let's just keep watching. Because if I'm here, we should be able to see them spawn in. Yeah, and they die really quick. Yep, okay. So those are good to go. Um, the items are getting collected. Is the XP getting collected? Why? PC's Ender Tank. I wonder if the Ender Tanks are having a little bit of a thing. Uh, but anyway, we've got to make a spot for the Blaze Rods to go into. Um... Let's see, blaze. Yes. Okay, there's no upgrades. Ooh, we gotta make sure we put set that on the back here. Okay, so now it knows to put the blaze rods in. Wait, was it not putting the Oh, oh, he wasn't putting all of our leather in. I feel so dumb. We have so much leather now. Oh, that's in our system? No! <laughs> I derped, guys. I really derped. Oh. <sighs> it's taking up a 64K drive somewhere. Ah, We'll have to fix that later. We can fix that pretty easily. But now we need to worry about some upgrades real quick. Uh, yeah, just a couple of these in a void. Voids are so important. So that way you don't lag out. Okay, blaze rods and hearts are coming in. But are the blaze rods going into our system? No, why not? Do I need to set the priority to be higher? says it's online. Yes, I just need to set the priority higher. Okay. So now that's working. Very good. Very good. There we go. Yeah. Definitely working. We're getting lots of blaze rods. And we'll get leather. That's a little frustrating, but okay. We'll make do. All right. So blazes are in. I don't have any more nether stars. Um, yeah, so we do need to kill another wither, but what that means is we require, uh, let's see, I need one of my bags. Wait, what's it called? Backpack? I believe, yes, let's give me those. That's a sword. Okay, which one is it in? Yes. So we have two wither skeletons. We're going to go ahead and put these guys in as well. Um, I may get shot a few times. Oh my goodness.
let's just go down here so they all fall down. Hopefully they path fine down and they die. Yes, good. So I'm gonna have to stay within range for these guys just so we can get some um, wither skulls. And yeah, that should be doing really good. I can put some, like, uh, what would it be? Beheading? Yes, I can add those upgrades onto it so we can almost get like guaranteed wither skeleton skulls, which is something I'm really, I really think I'm gonna go ahead and do right. Okay, and then we need gold. Good thing is we have lots of this stuff. Perfect. We will have the max amount of beheading on this. So let's add it in. Beheading out of glass. That's okay. Cool thing is the blazes are still going. So that's great. The clear glass. Okay, so I'm just going to set this here so I can stay within range. Oh, these guys. Um, what was it so they ignore light? That's why they're not spawning. Um, soul lanterns. We need some of these. Okay, we're going to make those. And we're going to click them so that it ignores the light and will spawn. All right, we got 64 of them. I made all of the ones I could. Okay. Yep, that was the issue. Perfect. Come on down, buddy. Come on down here. That's where I'm chilling. Okay, so I'm going to go AFK here for just a few minutes. These are going to start spawning in like mad. Yeah. And we'll be good. Okay, so we're going to go check the system now because they've spawned in quite a bit. I only went to the bathroom for like, I was gone for like two minutes or something like that. So if we look here for with, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is fantastic. Wither bone. Necrotic bone. Yeah, I'm going to have all of these guys in one storage drawer. Um, yeah. So let's get some upgrades in void. Okay. Oh, we are missing. Well, that works. Frick, we're out of, we're out of sticks again. How, we, we go through sticks like mad. Okay. So we've got a decent amount of storage upgrades, so we can max this out. Max that out, and I'm going to swap these just because it looks good. Then we're going to come to the back over here, and I actually think we need to get the cart canisters as well. Yeah. We'll put those here with the blaze. And what did blaze actually drop? Okay, I don't, I think they just drop the blaze rods. Uh, I don't think we'll have to worry about like things getting overfilled. Um, I need an expansion card. I think they're called capacity cards. Yeah, we need one of these real bad. And so what a capacity card does is because we have to come over here and set what's in the external storage, right? We only have these two rows, but if we put a capacity card in it, we unlock another row. So then I can go like this, and now everything is good to go. It knows to put that there. And when we do this and they start falling in, they know exactly where to go. So this is cool. All we need is a bunch of these soul lanterns, and they it ignores it. Ignores it. So yeah, we're definitely loving that. Uh, but now we have enough to go kill a few withers. 
So I'm going to do that because I believe... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we can almost one-shot these guys with our sword. So we're going to try it. We don't have, we don't have like sharpness on it, but we will do some stuff with villagers. I think we're going to dedicate two, two of these hallways to seeds and then two of the hallways to villagers maybe, or it might come up with something else. Uh, I don't really know, but I, we definitely need villagers trading. So what was I looking for? Oh, yes, we need soul sand. There we go. I'm gonna go to the the, the net or the the end. All right, let's give this a try. Well, we already know it works. All right, let's see what our unobtainium sword can do. I'm excited. This is gonna be fun. I'm probably just gonna do all of the wither heads I have, so we'll have eleven wither star or wither stars. loud i'm sorry oh my gosh guys that was two hits that was crazy let's stand here we're gonna take a little bit of damage but two hits to kill a wither oh my goodness with sharpness five we might be able to like one shot that'd be crazy look at that have you ever seen anything so beautiful unobtainium we have obtained you we have won. Now we slay all of the withers. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Two hits. All right, that is 11 Wither Stars. That is crazy. Um, yes. <laughs> We're back. Okay, so now we can go ahead and right-click those spawners with a Nether Star. And they will now spawn in without us needing to be here. There we go. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. So now if we come back over here, should, yeah, we're way out of spawning range. So we're keeping an eye on it. Do the wither skeleton spawn in? They sure do. Booyah. That's fantastic. Cool. Oh, and then the other thing too is I got to go over to the, the, ooh the farms or the mobs area and we have to unload this yeah so we no longer claim that we'll head on back you know if i was smart i would have put this in a chunk like within a chunk uh, that might work. I don't know. It's like a like this. This quarter is loaded, uh, so it might not work really good. But there's a few other upgrades I want to go ahead and do the spawners real quick, uh, because we have plenty of materials, which is great. So let's see here. Spawner. Let's have a look. What do we want to do? Um, ignore player. Ignore light. We did both of those. Spawn count. So spider eyes and max entity. So gas tears and spider. Uh, fermented spider eyes. Okay. So that is necessary. All right, so for fermented spider eyes, 34. So we can add 17 onto each. Should have a decent amount of gas tears, okay. Cool thing is we won't actually take any damage from fire, so we don't really have to worry about the blaze. And if they do get on our nerves, we can just kill them, okay. So we max out. OK, 
Okay, max energy. So that means that they won't be limited to the amount of mobs that are in the area. Oh my gosh. Okay, this has gotten a little crazy, I admit. Um, yeah, we need to come down here. Then all the blaze will come down here. This farm is popping, dudes. Holy heck. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh, look at all those guys. This is crazy. This might be a little too much, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm so sorry to the other members of the server. And then minus minimum spawn delay. Ooh, this is a good idea. Coarse fruit, no AI. That's a good idea. Activation range. Um, we don't need to worry about that. Redstone control, don't need to worry about that. Okay, so we need a bunch of clocks. Dragon egg. Ignores spawn conditions. And then we need sugar. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is get a bunch of sugar. Dude, we don't have a whole lot of that stuff. Okay, and then we're gonna grab the clocks as well. Okay, yeah, and then I need that glass back. <laughs> I don't really want to go in there without it. Okay, so we're going to do this with the wither skeletons. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I may have made a mistake. <laughs> what the actual heck? What have I done? No. This is the ultimate spawner. They're not even hitting the ground before the next batch comes in. I got to get a screenshot. This is becoming a thumbnail. Oh my goodness. Guys, don't do what I did. The server. Can we keep up with... Um... <laughs> I believe... I believe if we right click it with an empty hand, we could take this stuff out. Like it has to be in our offhand what we're taking out. I need to hurry. Okay, so the problem is the item collection. We it's not fast. It it's not getting out of the hoppers fast enough. Um, yeah, we can't put these out anymore. <laughs> Well, let's just get some other vacuum hoppers into that. Okay. Uh, we have one extra. Don't, don't, don't get angry. Okay. So we put one here, 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 and here. Oh no, they're spawning with items. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. Oh no. Uh, I should be able to pick this up. Yeah. I'm gonna do down here maybe for the experience. And so then down will be that. Yeah, that'll do it. <sighs> I don't know what we're going to do. got an idea okay so we're gonna use a buffer chest to be our guide um yeah that's how we're gonna do it okay let's get a diamond chest so we have some backlog um and then what we're gonna do we have this guy we're gonna grab a pipe an item pipe 
gonna grab a max tier upgrade that should keep up we're gonna grab a wrench okay <laughs> that was literally chaos um, so let's put that here so we can start picking up some of these items and putting them in and then it's important that we have one side still open and down here. Okay. Facing west, so west needs to be items. And then we are facing uh, north, so north needs to be items. And we're facing east, so east needs to be items. Okay, so this should be quite full. Or not. Very full. Okay. So what we are going to do is set that here. Oh, um, get out. Get out. Uh, let me. I'm gonna throw a bunch of the stuff here. We're gonna whitelist what can go into this chest. I need to have all of the items on me that we want. So we definitely want coal, bones, this, that, and then we'll put blaze rods in here eventually. But this will get a little chaotic. Get it in? Okay. Okay, so all of those items are going to get sucked out there. And then we're also going to get a trash can, and we're going to blacklist the same items from going into that trash can. If you guys are following along, it should be kind of easy. So we're not allowing the items that we're, we want to farm to go into... Um, the trash can. We're not allowing those ones. We're allowing everything else to be sucked out. And then we have to do that on the whitelist as well. Otherwise, because of the speed of it, it's just going to suck out um, all of the items that we don't want. Oh, I need a trash can. That is that is a priority. And this will eliminate all of those shenanigans. The shenanigans of stuff. But it does mean we're going to have to get rid of one of these. And I believe we're going to get rid of this guy. Which is okay. Alright, now the wrench. Bam. And then this guy in here. We're going to do that guy. That guy. And some coal. Okay, yeah, so that's empty. We have three of those. I wish we could make these go faster. I'm going to try something here. We're going to break this guy. I'm going to pick this guy up. And I want to see if we can actually pull items out. Because if we can, then we can just yank the items out with the pipes and put them into the chest. So let's have a look. Yeah, we'll grab this guy. And some item pipes. Is this even a thing, or are we are we hosed? Might just have to do multiple of these. <gasps> okay. <gasps> oh my goodness. So if I chuck these, oh my goodness, we're making a bunch of netherite upgrades. 
Right meow. I think we only need one. Perfect. Uses. Bam. So this should allow us to run it at full speed, which is crazy to think about. Okay. Um, we're definitely going to upgrade this one. All right. That's going to be liggity split quick. And we might as well, we might as well just do that too. Oops. Okay. All right, so facing, s ooh, cool, I grabbed it. Facing south and then down. Fluid. So then we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to probably do this on all of them. I'll just need to get some more tanks, which is okay. All right, so that's pushing down. I wonder if we could just put the trash can like here and then we can have another side. So we are facing east and then fluid. That's acting wonky. Okay, yep, that is going out. If we do this, now it's empty. If we do this, it's empty. If we break this, then it's good. Hang on, mouse, come on. Here we go. Oh, I didn't set it right. Okay, so now I can create the whitelist for the blaze rods and the blacklist for the blaze rods. So everything else is gonna get filtered out. And these are gonna be cranking. Oh my gosh, the amount of stuff we can pick up now. I think we put the spawners back in. Yeah, let's, we gotta try it. Gotta put those spawners back in. This episode's getting crazy long, I'm sorry. But you guys probably wanna see as much as I do how that does. Okay. Uh, oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Undermined zombie skeleton. This one hasn't been changed. Oh wait, I didn't put them there. Are they here? No. Did I put them in my tool bag? Yes, I did. There it is, okay. The insane spawners. Can our system keep up with them now? Oh my gosh, it can keep up with them. goodness guys we really need a way to shut these off um let's see uh let's f see can we make because i just need to like activate signal to it that could do it Redstone transmitter slash receiver. Let's see how, how many wither skulls we are getting. Oh my gosh. We're getting like 50 wither skulls. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is crazy. That may be a little too much. <laughs> um, yeah, let's... We, we need to be able to deactivate them. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. So, 
So we're going to need two comparators, which is good. We'll click that to both of them. And then a redstone transmitter. What are we missing? We need one of these guys. Probably two. Redstone transmitter and redstone receiver. Okay. So we're going to call this mob farm. All right. So if I right click, no. If I have to do it like this. Oh. Okay. So, mob, farm, a fam, farm. Okay, go like this. We just click it. Okay, so then, hang on. Yeah, so over here, let's get a redstone lamp in this biz. Okay, so we're going to put... Redstone, okay, so yes, redstone signal does travel wirelessly through that. It's pretty simple. And I believe you can even put this on a wall. Yep, just like that, so it's a lot easier. But we need to find a way to have redstone, like a cable almost. Um, okay, what happens if we set this on top um so say we're in there right we spawners here we may have to do it like uh this um right so it powers the block in between it but i'm i don't want anyone stuck on there so can i do that so if anything spawns, it just gets shoved off. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this set up. If you guys know of a, like a redstone wire that we could run along the back or something like that, because I know that like RedNet used to have something like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, Rednet used to have something like that, but I don't know anymore. But I, I need the ability to turn this off. It's too crazy. All right, let's come down here. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Look at these guys. It is too crazy. Ah, oh, man, I'm so sorry to the other members. I need to find a way to turn that off. So the receiver's good. The transmitter, I believe, is done. Um, well, I don't think done, but I think it got sucked in. Uh, let's see. We need that lever back. Okay. We're getting a lot of frame drop right now. I don't know why. Um... Need this one. What are we missing? Middle guy. I may need to break them and then set this up. It's not the worst idea I've ever had. How are our, how's our item collection going? And so we, this is overkill. Okay, now we can work in peace. Whew. Whew. That was a bit crazy. Okay, so it's very important 
Oh, yeah, not there. So we're going to put this uh, not there either. Are you kidding me? It got sucked up again. It's going to get destroyed. Gosh dang. I, I feel so quiet now. It's like eerie quiet. All right, here we go. So now we back over here. Yes. Okay. So that determines if it's on or off. Uh, I'm going to pair it to this. Call it wither skellies. Okay, and then we're going to click it to that. We're paired up. We're here. All right. Conveyor belt on. So nothing can spawn and stay there. Amazing. Okay. So we have to place those spawners. Um, <laughs> we have to place those spawners. And then click them um, with this, but we need to make sure there's a block in between them. That's good. Give me this. So we'll know if it's working or not. Okay. So there we go. It's not working. I'm glad that it's defaulting to off, though. That is a good one. I am a fan of that, because otherwise, if it was defaulting to on and you had a problem, that could be bad. OK. So let's just try uh, this guy. Redstone control. Output 15. I wonder if it needs to be like directly powered. Oh, that was it. Okay, so that whole thing has been settled. The blazer back in here, from the flick of a switch, I can get the wither skeletons that's coming in. It's a little crazy. Um, <laughs> but uh, the other thing we need to go ahead and do is get Enderman in here as well. Um, now, I am kind of thinking of doing um, all of these redstone controlled. But we need to do each individual one of those. So that's a lot of receivers. And so we basically lose one spawning spot here, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, but we do, we would need to do that. And so it basically these would just be too wide. We would need to do the conveyor belt on and we would just need some way to stop mobs from spawning in with the, uh, the receiver there. So I'm going to go ahead, add the Enderman in. Oh, we're going to need to make a teleport blocker. I'm actually going to go ahead and make two of those. Yes, two of these. And they'll be on either side of the bottom. Because I, I don't think they'll teleport up at the top. But however, when they hit the bottom, I think is when they'll probably teleport. So if we have these here, they should not be able to teleport. It's a little overkill, but uh, a little overkill is better than a little underkill. And I did that right as the blaze were coming in. That's fun. But if we go down here, they'll pathfind down, get mad at me, and they will die. That is good. Okay. So Enderman ignores players and ignores the light level. And that should be all that we need. Enderman should start spawning in. Yep. Cool. So they're getting killed. 
which means that we need to add them end of pearls to the whitelist and then add them to the blacklist as well. So now we have ender pearls being automatically created over in our farm there. We don't have to farm them anymore. We have to go kill a bunch of them and I don't believe I have a spot. So I will put them there and we gotta add them into the back. This is a little tedious, but after it's set, we don't have to really worry about it. So now it knows to put the ender pearls in there with a high priority, so we are good. Running out of ways to get into the base. <laughs> I might go ahead and actually put an elevator here because I would probably like to go down. We might put the reactor over here and then also to go up. So we might have a little like opening up top. But yes, look at that, Ender Pearls. Um, I guess. Are we even getting him? That's a Wither Skeleton spawner. Oh, uh, that's that's quirky. <laughs> I didn't do that with an Enderman one. Oh, that is very silly. I know I've got one in here somewhere. Let's see. Enderman, there he is. That's cool. Um, ooh. Just need another star. And then the soul fire. I always wonder if those spawners are even worth having in there anymore because they're so powerful. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we keep them? Should we not? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Definitely Enderman spawner. Okay. So the Endermen are definitely going in now. Don't have to worry about them teleporting, which is great. Listening, though. We're going to see if we can find any Ender Pearls. Yep, we are definitely getting into pearls. Fan freaking tastic. Really? Where did, you spawned up here? What do you have? What do you have? Oh, we're waiting for server. Are we going to get kicked? This is great. Nope, we're good. You have nothing. No <coughs> Thanks for the leads that I can make on my own. Okay, so we have blaze rods auto-crafted are being produced. We have ender pearls being produced. We have 57, I thought that said 27. Good, so now I just go AFK here and we get a lot of materials. I am a big fan of that. Look at all of the wither skeletons we have, or skeleton skulls we have. We're gonna have to do something with all of those. We also need to speed those up just a tad. Let's do that real quick. I'm thinking five sugar cane and like five clocks. And we'll see, we'll see if that's the magic number. Okay, they're definitely spawning in quicker, which is good, but we, we did a few upgrades to the wither skeleton ones that I was actually a big fan of. Now, the speed at which they were coming in was too much, right? Um, but these, we need the gas tears and the fermented spider eyes. We're missing the mushrooms, huh? Hmm. We can grow them in a garden cloche. We can also grow them in a bonsai pot. Okay, I think we do the bonsai pot, uh, but we'll do that later. Um, I'll get the gas tiers on them and we'll max those out. So it's not gonna, uh, like if the wither skeletons or other things are in the area of the spawner, it's not gonna stop it from spawning in. And I'll do that to this guy as well. Okay. So we definitely, I, I think it's okay. I, I don't want to go overboard with the Enderman ones. Because, like, ender pearls, like, they generate in at a certain amount. And, like, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. I think that's a great area to wrap up the episode for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button. And, as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and this was a long one. I hope you guys liked it. It's going to be fun to edit. <laughs> anyway, take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.